Is everybody happy? Well, let's find out. Happiness has changed for me. When I was a little girl, just running through the grass and feeling the dew between my toes or throwing stones for my grandfather's dog, Pete, was complete happiness. But we change, don't we? And we crave more, and we need more. And happiness and the meaning of happiness changes as we change. Hello and welcome. This is Sandra at Life Over 60. So glad you could join me again. Today I'm going to talk about happiness. Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, I think I am. But maybe I have to work at it a little bit harder than I used to when I was younger and I was working and raising my kids and involved in everything going on around me because that kind of action sometimes creates happiness because you're completely involved in life. Well, I recently took an online course from Yale University at the Solomon College about the science of happiness and the science of well-being taught by Professor Lori Santos, who is a professor of psychology and cognitive uh, therapies. So what did I learn? Well, there are seven steps that I'd like to talk to you about today that maybe are tools that you can use to create and to boost your own happiness level. And the first one that I want to talk about is savoring. Now, what is savoring? Well, savoring is something that you do in the moment. Uh, you're sitting down a delicious meal or you're having pizza and you're savoring the flavor of that right now. Or maybe you're riding and in a car and looking out the window and noticing the beautiful environment and you're taking it all in, in the moment. Walking in the forest and looking at the beautiful trees and the birds and the greenery. In other words, savoring. It's something that you do right now and you're savoring in the moment while it is happening. And that is one of the tools that you can use to boost your happiness. The second tool is something that I talk about all the time, and that's gratitude. Expressing your gratitude every single day, whether it's in the morning when you wake up or in the evening spending about five minutes and thinking of all the things that you are grateful for. Maybe grateful for in the past, in the present, in the future, in the now, but something just to just I know everybody has one thing, even if it's the fact that you're still breathing. Sit and think about, during the day, at least five minutes, of all the things that you are grateful for. And I know that if you want to write it down, write down those things. But it's really important to have that gratitude. Another thing we have is sense of community. And what do I mean about that? Well, it means getting outside of yourself. You know, I am the type of person that could easily become a recluse. I think I've said that before because I am so happy with myself. I can create, I can read, I can do things that I don't need outside things to entertain me very much. But that is a dangerous thing if you don't Think about reaching out to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors, to your postman, to the people that are involved in your life every day. On YouTube, if you live way out in the country and you don't see too many people but you're involved in a YouTube community, reach out, make comments, get to know one another, get to know the Creator. These are ways that we can really enhance our daily happiness quotient 
is to being a part, whether it's your church. As I said, you know, it's people that you are involved with in your life, reaching out and having that umbrella, having that village, and being involved in the give and take of a social community. That is a, and another extremely important thing about happiness. Another thing we've talked about before is exercise. Now, maybe you are in a position where you can't get out and exercise, but you can sit in a chair and stomp your feet and move your legs and get some music going and get your body moving. And whether it's walking through the woods, walking your dog, walking along the park, or parking your car far away at Walmart or at the grocery store so that you have to walk further to get to where you're going. Exercise is so important because exercise raises your endorphins. It really helps you be healthier. It, it, it helps your cardio. It helps everything. So exercise is really an important thing to have. Also, kindness. Kindness is so extremely important. Whether it is just a smile to the person who's bagging your groceries or to the clerk behind the counter, whether it's a smile to the person who is passing by and saying hello, a smile, I keep thinking because I go to Publix a lot, our grocery store, so even smiling or saying something nice to the cashier, just doing that one act of kindness every day will bring happiness to you because you know, when you see someone smiling back at you, doesn't it make you happy? It It is karma. You know, whatever you put out there comes back to you. So just expressing an act of kindness to someone is will raise your happiness level a lot. And the sixth thing is sleep. I know my husband has problems sleeping and I tell him, you know, instead of sitting there turning and wrestling with the sheets and everything is to get up, have a cup of tea, read, listen to some soft music, and eventually you will be tired and come back to bed. But sleep is important because sleep, enough sleep may prevent the risk of a heart, lowers the risk of a heart attack. It boosts your immune system, and it's very important with your energy level the very next day. So if you can, uh, put an app on your phone. They have so many apps that will help you induce sleep, uh, that will relax you. Turn on music. The nature sounds, I think, very good. Um, there are ways to quiet your mind before you go to sleep, even that five minutes of thinking about gratitude, all the things you are wonderful to, may lower your hyper level and put you in a mood of being able to sleep a lot better. So let's see, what do we have? Savoring, gratitude, kindness, exercise, sleep, and community. Those are the six things that will help you raise your happiness level. Now, someone asked me the other day, well, what if, you know, I just wasn't born happy? Is there such thing as a happiness gene? Well, actually, I think there is. Uh, they say about 50% of your happiness level is inherited. But the other 45% are habits, your attitude, your environment, and the way that you look at things and teach yourself to look at things instead of the glass being half empty all the time. Have the glass half full. So there are ways that we can even though we know it, I mean, you can have knowledge 
and you know something is true. But just having that knowledge won't fix it. It's being able to use tools that will help you create the end result and what you want. And if you want to have be happier, then these are tools that you can use to be happy. You know, I learned so much. I wish I could have taken all of you along with me during this course because I this is just a capsule of what I've tried to put together so that I can share my Yale course with you a little bit. But I have found that, you know, as I am older, it really is harder for me to drum up happiness because I'm not as involved in life as I used to be. And that really is important. Being able to use all of these tools of savoring and gratitude and community and exercise and getting a good night's sleep, they're all so important. So we're not talking about makeup today, but we are talking about part of us because we are women that are so many faceted and we have so many intricate parts to us that are still here even though we're over 50 and at my age I'm an 80 <laughs> and I'm trying to use all of these things to keep my mojo going. But thank you so much for coming with me today and you know do something kind for yourself that will increase your happiness and as I said do something kind for someone else that you meet today and of course share the love and by sharing that love you make yourself happier and it's something that we all need thank you for joining me and if you like this video please I'd love to have you subscribe and come along with me on this journey that we are all on and click the little bell below if you want to be notified about my next video remember I love all of you and have a great great day and I will see you in my next video